Hi, Andy Brocklehurst here with another tutorial on software product magic. And in this video, we're going to make a certificate maker. And this is a really simple example of something that you can do. I've got two files here. One is a background image file, which is of a certificate layout. And then I've made an HTML file called certificates.html and that I've just put together using uh, Composer, which is a free editor, and really just stuck the tags and things that I need straight into it. So the title is a tag, name, name of achievement, awarded by their position, and today's date. So very, very simple layout. We are, in this example, just going to ask each of these things uh, and maybe we'll set up a default for the date, but really going to keep it very straightforward. Okay, here's the uh, certificate maker I've already put together, and I'll just walk you through what we've done. So on the front page, as normal, software title, who it's by, a short description, and uh, fill out the about details and I've made sure that the file name, the only file that I'm, it needs to really do anything to is the HTML file, so I just made sure HTML is in that list, which it usually is by default anyway. I scanned for the tags, it found them all, and that's it. So, tag number one, it's gonna ask a question. It's a normal question. What is the name of the award? Little line of help for it, and by default, it'll call it Certificate of Merit. So that will be the default answer. Obviously you could customize this. If you were building a certificate maker specifically for schools, then yes, you know, Certificate of Merit or Certificate of Achievement would probably be the default value. Question number two is the name of the person receiving the award. They're just gonna put in the name again, a standard text entry field. Same for the name of achievement, another standard field. Now the date, we're going to assume that it's going to be today's date. So I've just taken a system value of the date in short form. So it won't actually ask that as a question. It will just take today's date and put it in. If you want to know how to set up a default date, then if you look in the video I put together on making a countdown generator, you'll see that uh, there's a part point in there where I set the date by default to today's date, uh, but let them change it. So it's a bit different. Okay, uh, awarded by is uh, who's giving the award. And again, these are just standard questions and their job title or position. And I've made this one optional uh, because it might be that you don't need to put the position in there. And that's it. I mean, this is as easy as it gets for making a piece of software. Um, I'm gonna create the files in the Windows temporary folder not going to open them up in in a folder because these aren't the sort of files you want to upload to a website or have access to it just needs to display the finished certificate um, and that's pretty much it so let's uh, go ahead and build that and then we can give it a test okay so uh, certificate maker has been created there i can open that location up And there's our files. Incidentally, if you're distributing an app, you need to send all of these files. All four files are needed for this to run successfully. So let's run the certificate maker. And we should see, I didn't give it any background image. It uh, told us a little bit about it in that splash screen. So completely blank background. I didn't specify a background image. Name of award by default. It's put the default answer in that we gave it. Name of the person receiving the award. So we're going to give this one to John Smith. And he's getting it for his uh, outstanding work in cleaning. It's awarded by uh, Sam Jackson. And uh, they don't have a job description. And there we go. It's uh, built the certificate, displays it immediately. Can resize this if uh, we need to. I'm just 
keep it so you can see it all on screen. So, boom, certificate built, dated, space to sign. Now we can just print it. There we go. So very, very straightforward, quick and easy thing that you can build a certificate maker. And that's built with Software Product Magic, the easiest and fastest way to build profit-making software.